Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Tovia. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this wonderful, delicious, aromatic spatchcock chicken. It's going to be the perfect thing you can serve for Thanksgiving if you are tired of turkey. You'll be able to find all the ingredients you need for today's demonstration in the description box under this video. So we have our whole chicken here and I'm going to show you guys how to um, cut it for a spatchcock chicken. So I removed everything out like the gizzards and the neck so I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna cut right along both sides of the spine here but if you look very closely you can see where to cut so we're just gonna follow along side of spine so just follow right along the side here move back through and this works if you have a very sharp knife I'm using Dow strong knife and this is not part of a Gladiator series. You can find more about Dow Strong in a box down there, description box. And just keep following right along down the side and it comes right out. And then I'm gonna save my chicken back because you can use it to make chicken stock. I'm just kind of trim my chicken up a bit here. I'll just stick pieces of fat and skin off. And see, the chicken's been cut. So now we're going to bake it. But before we do bake our chicken, I got a few spices here. And this is kosher salt. That is a coriander. Coriander has lovely flavor. It goes well with citrus. Some cumin, give it a nice smoky flavor, as well as some chili powder here. And then I have some coarsely ground black pepper. Let's get a mix together. And then we're gonna set that aside. So this is a fairly easy recipe. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna just slice my orange here, rather thick doesn't have to be thinly sliced. Don't worry about the peel on it. We're gonna leave that. I have here some fresh basil from my garden. Let me just set that all aside. And then I have a whole onion here. And I'm just going to, uh, well, I'm gonna remove the skins. You don't have to, but I think I'm going to. Then the onion, we're just gonna just roughly slice it. Some celery, just roughly chop it. Don't worry about the tips or the bottom, the leaves or all that, just flavor. This is a great way to get rid of old veggies as well. If you have some old veggies on hand. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna season our chicken first. We're going to season the underside of our chicken. So I'm going to flip this back over. Wash my hands. And that spice mix that we threw together, we're just going to season the um, underside of that. Make sure that this makes sure the chicken has lots of flavor. Then I'm going to place my just arrange my oranges here on the bottom of my tray. So let's place the oranges, the onions. Hmm. Then I have here some fresh basil. Just lay that on top of the oranges. Let me break it apart. You can leave the stem on there, it doesn't matter because this is lots of flavor. So then we're gonna place the open side of the chicken or the bone side of the chicken on top of all these herbs and onions and oranges. Here, it's gonna give the chicken lots of flavor. I'm going to drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. And I did pat the chicken dry 
but that's the magic of having a camera because you guys don't have to see all of that so I'm gonna rub the olive oil into the chicken just make sure you get the wings and all under the creases of the chicken really well and I'm gonna sprinkle the remaining of our spices that we threw together on top of the chicken I got my oven preheated at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and then this is going to bake for about 45 minutes to an hour. Believably this really bakes quickly because the chicken is scratch caught. So the heat is really going to hit both sides of the chicken so you may not think it's going to cook this quick but believe me it will. So 45 minutes to an hour to like an hour 10-ish depending on the size of the bird. I'm going to bake it for about 50 minutes and then I'm going to take the temp. And then our celery as well. It's got lots of flavor. I left out the celery by accident. So, okay, so we're gonna put that into the oven and let that bake. So here's our chicken, and it took 53 minutes for it to bake, and then I took it out of the oven, I took the temp. And um, it was at 165, and then I let it rest. Remove the chicken from the our aromatics here, and then I'm going to take our aromatics that we had and just put this in the bowl on the side here. This is going to be trash. I'm going to save the oranges for the garnish. Now the rest of this in the pan here, I'm going to scrape that down. Get all this brown bits off the bottom of the pan much of it as I can and then I'm going to pour this into my pirate's glass here try to get all that chicken drippings into this glass so here I'm heating my skillet here on high heat and I'm going to add some olive oil if you don't want to use olive oil you can use butter sunflower oil whatever you desire I'm going to turn the heat down to medium and then we're going to add my all-purpose flour here and I'm using a French whisk because it's long, as na long and narrow and it helps you hit the edges of your pan here really well. I'm going to add some more olive oil as I need it. The key here, we're making a roux, so the key here is to have the flour moist enough where it can cook. But you don't want it, so it really needs to be moistened by the our fat. So typically we do equal parts flour and and fat. So you want to do equal parts butter and flour, olive oil and flour, sunflower oil and flour. It always works as long as you have the equal part. And it's good to have a high temp oil. So if you're going to use butter to make your roux, I would suggest using half butter and half oil, and oil that has a high burning point. So I'm going to keep whisking this around until this is a dark chestnut brown color. It's going to take a while. It's probably going to take about 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to be working on medium, medium, high heat. I'm just going to keep my heat adjusted since I'm working on an electric range here. So don't walk away from it. You really have to babysit it and just keep whisking until it's really dark brown. The darker, the better. Okay, so this is almost as brown as I want it to be. I just want to show you. So this has been going about 10 minutes now. And it's starting to get even more darker as you see here on camera. So I'm going to let it get a little bit more dark. But just keep stirring constantly. Keep whisking constantly. drippings, our chicken drippings from the pan. We're going to add that here. My water. And I'm going to just keep whisking all over the pan as I'm pouring the water. Make sure I'm scraping the edges of the pan well. I'm going to stop here for a minute and just have a look at what our gravy looks like. Give everything a whisk. Okay. 
but I'm just swirling the pan here to make sure there's no raw bits of roux that's left behind here. See how you see here I have little pieces that are from the pan dripping. I'll just scrape those little large black chunks out so they're not unpleasant when you bite into them. I'm gonna cook this for about two to three minutes more until it thickens. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of flavor, a little bit more flavor to this. I'm gonna add some garlic powder because we don't want to bind into any garlic. I'm gonna add some kosher salt because you know it's gonna be bland with all the water. I'm gonna give everything a stir here. I'm going to add some black pepper. Now, if you want to add onions and peppers and mushrooms to this, you could. But I'm just doing a plain old brown gravy for a smash cup chicken. So I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes or so. I wanted to just reduce a little bit more and thicken up. So here's our chicken. And um, I just arranged it with some fresh basil and some uh, leftover orange slices. So you can know there's orange, but seasoned, flavored with orange. And I put the gravy in our gravy bowl here so we're gonna give this a taste test so i have my food here I have some string beans and my buttered rice you can find that in my fish platter video and of course our chicken i'm gonna drizzle some of that gravy over it's beautiful it's not lumpy has a nice gloss to it so here it goes Please subscribe and share this video if you enjoyed today's video and please don't forget to check out my previous videos as well. And uh, please head over to the community tab so that way you can see different events going on and voting and also follow me on social media. So here it goes. Mmm, my goodness. I don't know what's better, the gravy or the chicken. It's absolutely delicious. Mmm. Guys, it's perfect. <clears throat> this is perfect, especially if you want something different for Thanksgiving. You have the spatchcock chicken there with the gravy. You can pair this with anything up to potato casserole, mashed potatoes. You can do it with stuffing. You can do this with rice you can do this with couscous the choices are endless please remember to live and be well let's do what we can to come together and love each other thank you so much for watching